Two Gear and Guitars with Mel. As usual, I am Mel, and today, something a little different. This is what we're checking out today. We got a tuner on there. Wait, didn't say anything on that headstock. What in the heck? What is this? What is P90? What's, what's happening? Oh, what, the, the neck too? What kind of tuners are those? So check it out. Uh, I was contacted by, got in contact with, don't remember which way, with uh, Guitar Kit World. Um, they knew I was running the channel here and everything, and I'd asked them about some of their stuff, and they were like, you know what? We'll send you a kit. You know, you gonna build it up for us? I'm like, yeah, dude, let's go. So that's what happened. And uh, of course, since I don't have an Explorer in the arsenal, this is what I picked. All right, now this, First, let's get this out of the way. This is on their site called Zebrawood. This is not Zebrawood. This is not real Zebrawood. Zebrawood's a thing, if you look it up, it, it exists. It's pretty beautiful. Um, this is a composite. Uh, I don't know what timbers they use to make this composite, um, but what I do know is that it is heavy as all get out. I mean, this. I haven't put it on a scale proper, but I'm going to assume it's about 11 pounds, maybe, maybe 12. I don't know, but, uh, super heavy, but durable, durable, very, very nice. Um, and I'll, I'll throw some, some pictures up to show how we went through the process. So I started out with the body. They send, when you send the kit, you get everything that you need sent to you to build a kit, everything. Um, 
it's it's okay stuff. It'll get by you. You'll have a working guitar. You know me better than that. So <laughs> what I did was I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this a different way. So I took all the hardware that came with the kit and I booted it. I got rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. I still have it and I'll probably use it on something else. It came with black hardware, um, these black covered pickups that looked like active EMG style things, but they weren't. They're just regular pickups. And who knows? Maybe I'll, I don't know. You never know what I do. I got a drawer full of pickups and parts and stuff like that, right? Um, but I was like, you know, I just want to, I want to rock out with this body. It came with the white 76 style off-white um, scratch plate. You know, with like I said, the humbuckers blacked out. And I'm like, you know, that wood needs to be accentuated. If I had just thrown everything black on here, I feel like you just wouldn't quite get it. You know what I mean? So I went my own way. We'll start up at the top. Those are a pretty set of Geiger locking tuners. I am becoming quite the fan of this brand. They uh they make some pretty good stuff. I have some vintage looking style lockers that are pretty legit. So we got a bone nut chilling out of in that piece. It's very white, it's very clean. I'll dirty it up with some play, you know, one of these days, right? Um, this bad boy does have a 24 and three quarter scale link. Uh, it's 22 frets. So, you know, that's where I live. Um, might interest you to know that Les Pauls are my favorite. Gibson Shapes. Uh, Explorer is my next, but they're not easy to come by. I tell you, um, this one has these, I believe, acrylic trapezoid inlay inlays, trapezoid inlays, trapezoid inlays on the neck, which is also one piece of whatever that composite is. So it's not a matter of uh, them slapping a fingerboard on there. It is one piece. One there's a there's a butt joint down here, but other than that, all this is a uh, one piece. No scarf. No fingerboard on its own, okay? Then what I decided to do with my engineered wood, my engineered zebra wood explorer was just, I, I just had to do my thing, right? So Guitar Madness, uh, I talk about them all the time. Uh, real affordable pickups with some decent tone. So I had to get this P94 kind of deal here. I'm a big fan. I'm jumping on the P90 bandwagon, but I can't get rid of my... Uh, can't get rid of my love for a regular humbucker. This is actually their hex bucker. And that's a higher output. I don't know exactly what output right now because, because I'm terrible. No, 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 time out. This is a 16 K ohm output. Huh? <laughs> and this is a 6.2. See what I did there? Um, the output talks about it. Like, you know, getting, getting your pickup height is also a way to dial in how you go on it. You know, I, I have the, the bridge humbuckers down, so it gets the wide range, but uh, you know, it might lose a little articulation, which is okay with me because it's a ceramic hex bucker pickup. It's pretty articulate. So uh, I just wanted something to rock some eighties kind of rock machine, man. Had to go with the clear pick guard scratch plate. Cause I mean, look at it, come on. You get to see where the switch is. It's awesome and it hides nothing. You know, I even got the clear pickup surrounds. All right, decided to go with gold hardware. We have, which you can't really tell, but it is a faux ABR1. You know, it's got the, uh, it's got the, the anchor, but that thing's got to be socked all the way down. Got me some vintage looking gold top uh, witch hat knobs, you know, and that's, that's what you got. I did, uh, you know, I wanted to be somewhat authentic. Oh, I just see what I did there. I wanted to play somewhat authentic. So the wire up is actually a Gibson Explorer wire up switch, whole nine. Um, so yeah, I got this from Guitar Kit World and it, it's, it's heavy, but man, is it a freaking, oh, you can metal and rock and all that on this. Uh, I gave it a nitrocellulose finish. Um, Barely in amber. I just wanted to be able to maintain that look. Because here's the thing. Yeah, it's not natural timbers. It is made of wood. You know what I mean? It's just wood that's been fahooved with and all that stuff. And I'm okay with that. But I wanted to do the nitro finish because, A, I like a nitro finish. 
and B, you know, we're keeping it there. I mean, if you think about it, you know, I'm, I'm keeping the specs relatively vintage aside from the locking tuners. Everything else, well, and, and the hex bucker. That's <laughs> not shh. But I'm keeping it old school, um, just with the ability to kick butt if it needs to. You know what I mean? That's always important that your guitar have the ability to kick whatever butt it needs to be. tuners are ridiculous uh and you know i'm sure i have spliced in bits and pieces of the build itself also little point there uh that fretboard i wasn't sure about this wood so i lacquered the fretboard as well but yeah guitar kit world this is awesome i would like to if you guys are interested over at guitar kit world I would like to do another one of these videos, but I'd like to do a little more in depth, maybe something like an SG and we'll go step by step through each part of the build. I don't know, throwing it out there. Thanks for checking out Gear and Guitars with Mel. As usual, I'm Mel. Uh... <laughs>